Hey guys, it's Crusher, and today we're going to be talking about prediction pairing versus reaction pairing. Now you may be asking, what's the difference between the two? Isn't pairing just pairing? Well, you would be wrong. Prediction pairing is when you parry as a prediction what you think they're going to do based off of patterns and based off of the weapon's attack speed. So basically, if it's a medium sword, you attack and then you parry right after, right? Or if it's like uh, a dagger, you attack and you like hit the parry button while you're just coming off of the swing so you can parry it right away. That would be a prediction parry. You're parrying as a prediction of what you think they're going to do based off of past evidence in uh, your gameplay. So you may be asking, what's reaction parrying? Well, reaction parrying is parrying off of a reaction time purely. So waiting until you see when you actually need to parry instead of parrying as a prediction or when you think they're going to need to parry. So let's say you, you swing, they parry, then you wait because they're waiting to attack, so you wait with them. That would be a reaction parry. So what you really want to do is you want to figure out when you need to do either one. And it's, pretty, it's a pretty simple idea. What you want to do is you want to think, is the weapon fast? If the weapon is extremely fast, like fists, or flare bloods comma, or rapier, usually you want to prediction parry, as it is very hard to react to. You want to reaction parry to slower medium weapons, maybe like a sacred hammer, because they're crit. You also want to take crit into account. If it has a really good crit, you might want to reaction parry. So sometimes, if you're fighting a fist user who uh, uses their crit a lot, you want to reaction parry. You want to reaction parry against sacred hammers. You want to reaction parry against heavy weapons, especially. Hive Lord Tubris, you can reaction parry. It's probably the best weapon to reaction parry against. Another variable you need to take into account is ping. If you want to reaction parry versus prediction parry, you really need to think about your ping and how it's going to affect it. You want to prediction parry a lot if you have a higher ping, and reaction parrying becomes 10 times easier if you have a low ping. 10, 20, or 30 ping makes reaction parrying so easy even against daggers. So you really want to be taking all of these variables into account when thinking if you want to reaction parry or prediction parry.